Black Jack Brady was his name. The most important arrest I ever made. It must have been about two years ago now. Of course, there was no doubt about it. He was hung a month after I caught him. Hello, wait a minute. They've got old Barmy Ben up now. You remember the late Mrs. De Winter, don't you? She's gone. Yes, we know that. She went in the sea. The sea got her. That's right, that's right. Now, we want you to tell us whether you were on the shore that last night she went sailing. Eh? Were you on the shore that last night she went out when she didn't come back? I didn't see nothing. I don't want to go to the asylum. Them cruel folks there. Now, nobody's going to send you to the asylum. All we want you to do is to tell us what you saw. I didn't see nothing. Come, come. Did you see Mrs. De Winter get into her boat that last night? I don't know nothing. I don't want to go to the asylum. Very well, you may go. Eh? You may go now. Oh, Mr. Tan. Yes, sir. Step forward, please. The evidence you give is called me the truth. All truth. But the truth, sir. I do. The late Mrs. De Winter used to send her boat to your shipyard for reconditioning. That's right, sir. Can you remember any occasion when she had any sort of accident with the boat? No, sir. I often said Mrs. De Winter was a born sailor. Now, when Mrs. De Winter went below, as is supposed, and a sudden gust of wind came down, that would be enough to capsize the boat, wouldn't it? Excuse me, sir, but there's a little more to it than that. Well, what do you mean, Mr. Tab? I mean, sir, the seacocks. What are the seacocks? Seacocks? Oh. Well, the seacocks are the valves to drain out the boat. And they're always kept tight closed when you're afloat. Yes? Well, yesterday when I examined that boat, I found they'd been open. Well, what could be the reason for that? Just this. That's what flooded the boat and sunk her. Are you implying... That boat never capsized at all. I know it's a terrible thing to say, sir. But in my opinion, she was scuttled. And there's them holes. What holes? You know, planking. What are you talking about? Of course, that boat's been underwater for over a year. And tide's been knocking her against the ridge. But it seemed to me, them holes looked as if she'd made them from the inside. Then you believe she must have done it deliberately? Couldn't have been no accident. Not with her knowledge of boats. You knew the former Mrs. De Winter very well, I believe. Oh, yes. Would you believe her capable of suicide? No. Frankly, I would not. You never can tell. You may stand down, Mr. Tabb. Mr. De Winter, please. 